Welcome back. Destruction of mangroves along the Tere called Kiranpani River by uncontrolled and blatant sand mining is on the rise. Local authorities like Perne Mamladdar and police are reluctant to act. Despite several complaints by Kiranpani villagers, concerned authorities have not initiated any action against the violators. Sand extraction is banned in the state, but at Kiranpani, it's in full swing. Mahesh Gadi reports. All is not well at Kiranpani. Look at this. This is Terakol Kiranpani River. See how the sand is extracted in broad daylight. They are also cutting mangroves. There isn't any control on sand mining. No authority is taking cognizance. Villagers claim that in spite of several complaints and several representations, no action has been initiated as yet. Not even the mines and geology department. Villagers fear that they might have to face the ill effects of massive mangrove destruction. If this continues, Kiranpani Island will be history in coming years. Forest Department has planted mangroves on this island several times. But today this vegetation is a victim of uncontrolled and unregulated sand extraction. Local politicians say Kiranpani Island can be an attractive tourist spot in the state. But even after a year of BJP led government in power, no such efforts from the government are seen in Terekol. Reporter Mahesh Gadi for Prudent. Goa government is the biggest litigant in courts and tribunals in the state. Now to cut the expenses on filing cases in the different courts, Goa government has passed a new litigation policy. This policy defines how government can decrease the burden of number of unnecessary cases. While passing the new litigation policy, government aims to transform itself into an efficient and responsible litigant by following only good cases and stop wasting money of public on unnecessary cases. In this policy, government has set principles like Accountability will be fixed at the level of officers in charge of litigation. All the lawyers who fight the cases will be answerable. State committees to monitor accountability and implementation. Agencies which manage government's litigation and lawyers will be equipped with modern technology to cut short the time. Help of law colleges will be taken for training government lawyers identifying and improving areas of specialization. Government will not file an appeal against ex parte interim orders unless it causes great inconvenience. Only extraordinary cases will be filed in the High Court or the Supreme Court. In service matter, government will not appeal till it causes major repercussions. Cases of agitation will not be filed unless it involves serious damage to public property or serious injury to officials or policemen. Normal type of case with less than three years sentence will not be appealed beyond the strict and session court. This policy also restricts government lawyers from taking unnecessary and frequent adjournments. Appeals will not be filed in the Supreme Court unless the case involves a question of law or public finances are adversely affected. Government is also focusing to expose such public interest litigations which are filed to get publicity and the instance of third parties. Government will try to persuade the court to impose costs to discourage vexatious litigants. One side government is aiming to save public money by passing this new litigation policy. But on the other hand, government has planned to pass this saving to the government advocates. In this policy itself, government says that it does not pay fees to its lawyer as per market rate and now has planned to revise their fees on a regular basis. With video journalist Tulsi Das Chari, I am Mukesh Kumar for Prudent. A police sub-inspector, Abhishek Gomes, who was killed on Saturday after a truck ran over him, was laid to rest on Sunday at Margao. Gomes was given a 21-gun salute. Many police personnel, including DGP, attended the funeral.
रिपोर्टर प्रतीक पारा फॉर प्रूडेंट लेट्स टेक अ शॉर्ट ब्रेक स्टेट यून